Yo, dude. I beat you today. I beat you. Good morning, man. As soon as I hear him rustling, I'm like, gotta get over there with the camera. Get this shot for you guys. Oh my god, I need to be. Well, it's like silly YouTuber stuff, right? Like, oh, get, the quick, get the shot. Get the shot. Good morning. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, how are you, man? Doing good. Mm -hmm. There you go, Chris. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what's hey. that, hey, buddy? He's like, wow, this is cool. Do you mind, bro? That's not your house. <laughs> yeah, bud. You want some smoked salmon? It's from that uh, the cannery in Parksville. Yeah, dude. You, know, you didn't know? What? You, know, you didn't know? Well, maybe not right now, but... <laughs> I was going to open it for you, sir. Oh, your okay. hands are full. It's all good. Wait, wait. Now. Thanks, bro. Good. Maybe I should eat mine now. You want some crackers and cheese to go with that? What? Yeah, man. Oh, shit. Come over here earlier. All right. Get some crackers and cheese out. We oh, yeah, did. I like this, man. I'm going to come over and bring like weird things I have in my van to you sooner. Yeah, man. Thanks for this, too. Oh, that looks amazing. Mm hmm. You want some crackers with some small salmon? Sure. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. A little bit of fig on there, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm. Cheers, man. Yeah, that was a great one. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. I'm going for a swim again. I'm going to put my wetsuit on this time uh, just so that I'm a little bit more comfortable out there and I'm not freezing my butt off when I come back. Uh, so, there we go. Well, I left Chattanooga, boy, had a dollar and a dime Headed out to Nashville on the hard rock line I'm working on that old steamboat and learn to ride the steam. When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel. Been saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dollar, but it never adds up at all. But coming around the river bank, her the old train was so sane. The very next thing you hear from me, I've been tied to a ball and chain. And I don't know where I'll be But if it wasn't for that old sheriff I'd be back in Tennessee Playing cards and crap games Not looking for the score And if I ever get back home again I'll never own no Good time, boys, listen to my song. You may not know better, but I know you know right from wrong. Why you 
yourself a postcard so you can see the lights of town. Find yourself a country girl, keep quiet and settle. like a freshwater coral or something. I don't know if it was just like a tree root or something with a bunch of growth on it, but that was pretty neat. Whew. Mostly sticking to the shoreline because uh, it's deeper out here. And uh, when I dive down to the bottom and I get to negative buoyancy, it freaks me out because the bottom is super silty. And it just wants to like I just want to sink into it and I just I don't want to go into that stuff. I have no idea how deep it is either. It's pretty weird. But most of the beer cans are sitting that I'm finding are sitting on top. I'm sure there's some that are sunk below that. There's probably like heavier objects that are below that stuff. Lost forever. Anyway, uh, I'll give this a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna head in. Very comfortable in that boat. Great, yeah, man. Crazy, you stay in here, buddy. I is... know what you're thinking. <laughs> you stay there, bud. It's deep. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Come say hi. Yeah. See what we got. <laughs> that thing is so weird. Uh, fishing line, plastic, can, tops. <laughs> I wonder who this is. What's it say? The score, something refugee. Hey, sir, can you put this on for us? Oh, crap. 
<laughs> Heck yeah, what is that? It's uh, the score. Oh, it's the Fugees. The Fugees? The Fugees. All right. The score album from the Fugees. That's it. Going on a paddle. This is my life jacket it's by Mustang Survival. You just wear that one like a fanny pack. So uh, it doesn't actually look like I'm wearing a life jacket, but it's a legit life jacket. We've never had two grown men in here, so we'll find out. Ooh. As boys out here, we're gonna see if we can pop this baby. I have no idea. Is there enough room there? Yeah. Okay, you take this, I gotta adjust my seat. Yeah, yeah. I need more room. <laughs> Sweet man, see you in a bit, John. We might be swimming back. Awesome. Okay. I thought we just called them the Germans. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty nice, buddy. Yeah, dude. Okay. Not bad for a good old Costco boat. <laughs> I go cut the post. Oh, it's, it's on there good. Yeah. It might just be a way to someone tie up their boat or something. I don't know. That's pretty cool too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not a bad place to live. No. It's sprouting out of the, vent of, of the end of a dead tree. Yeah. It's got lots of water. I don't know you call that like a nursing tree or something. Like a... I don't know, there's a name for that. Oh. Nice. Oh, the water's coming down on my butt. Yeah. We made it, buddy. We made it. Thanks, bro. <laughs> well, it's got a handle right there. Yeah. <clears throat> nice. Dry already. It's not going to be a super exciting dinner, but got some dandelions, some canned salmon, eating down all the canned fish that I have. Imagine my dinner. No, because she rolled her last vehicle. She rolled it? Oh, full on rolled it. She was on the Dempster Highway and it flipped. It rolled it like four or five times, whatever it was. Oh. Yeah. Night, Joseph. Yeah, good night, bro. Bad. Chrome just went to bed. Take it in. 
but yeah. <laughs> we'll catch you later, guys. All right, this last little bit here is a bit of bonus footage. This is a, a school of stickleback fish, and they were literally hundreds of them all in through this uh, shallow area near where the dock was where we were camping. And while we were there, there were several researchers coming to research this particular fish uh, and had a cool discussion with one of the guys there. Apparently this fish originated from the ocean and it's a saltwater fish. We can still find them in the ocean, but many, 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 many years ago when the oceans were high, these fish got deposited in these little pools of water as the waters receded which then turned into lakes, and these fish stayed there and adapted to the fresh water. And so that's why they're in the lakes. And they are all over the entire world. Um, they're studied quite a bit everywhere, and I guess there's some cool like thing about them as far as evolutionary adaptation goes. And so uh, anyway, that's, that's the deal with these fish. And uh, there's some traps down here. Uh, some of the researchers are trying to catch some males and females and breed them and uh, just learn more about them and um, also uh, I don't know there's a bunch of stuff but I really can't remember it all and um, I wanted to include this because some of those guys wanted to see this video and I told them I would share the footage of these fish because uh, they really didn't get to see any of this stuff they thought there was very few left in the lake because there's a bunch of dead ones in the shore and they weren't catching any in their traps so anyway um that's it with this i i hope uh maybe those guys get a little bit extra research money so they can get some wetsuits and gopros masks and snorkels and all that stuff so they can get in the water and actually do uh real visual research on these things anyway that's it guys much love We'll see you later. Bye.